Hey guys, the Jacoby way back again with another video. So today we're gonna be talking about my uh, school teacher that sent me to the detention room just for dropping a piece of paper. All right, guys. So if you do not like this video, I swear the FBI will show up on your doorstep and will knock on your door and SWAT team you okay I'm not kidding this is this is a real thing that will happen and um if you don't like this video in the next five seconds five four three two one I hope you guys did it and if you did then you won't get swatted thank you alright so today I'm gonna be talking about so my my teacher right it was a it was a substitute teacher and he he was just being a normal teacher you know and um usually he's always nice he gives us candy and stuff like that but uh one day um he actually so we were like doing exams i think i think we were doing the exams yeah and um so mostly everyone got finished with their exams and so I later after that I saw my friend um uh like the teacher called him out and sent him to the detention and usually detention at the time was called ISS which is in school suspension which is pretty much the same thing but he got sent there, and I was like so confused. What what did he do? There was nothing. Like literally, I saw that he did. And so, uh, I grabbed the later. I grabbed the piece of paper to like draw on, and I was done drawing. I was like, you know what? This is kind of a crappy drawing. So I'm just gonna take that drawing, and ball it up, and put it in the corner of my desk, and. Once I did that, I actually um, dropped the piece of paper on the floor by accident. I don't know if this teacher had like a stressful day or something or something like that, but he was mad, dude. Like literally, he he sent me to detention just for dropping a stupid little ball of paper. I thought it was actually the weirdest thing, but... I mean, he he probably he, he probably like was having a bad day, but like I figured out that he was he, he wasn't actually that good of a teacher. He was just doing stuff to make us feel good. But so I he sent me to the detention room, and once I got there, I uh. I just kind of sat there for a second and um the teacher in the detention room was asking me a question what was my name and I was confused what she was saying and she got uh so I was just like huh and she she just like I thought like she stared at me for a second she stared at me for like one full minute disrupting the class she says I'm disrupting the class she's staring at me the full minute and then she's supposed to talk to everyone else I mean come on like like you call me disturbing the class you're the one that's not teaching it's 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 just a fact and so and then she sends me out of the classroom and she says I was being disrespectful because I didn't listen to her question. I I don't even know guys. This is just the dumbest thing that I ever heard. But um and then the other teacher, which is like the science teacher, she she talked to me and she she said she wanted me to say sorry. To the teacher that sent me to the detention office. I'm like. What for? I literally dropped a piece of paper. But you know. A kid in 7th grade. No one's going to believe them. 
literally everyone's gonna believe the adult more than the kids uh to be honest that's how life works right now and it's kind of sad you should believe at least like you should listen to the kid but they don't listen to the kids at all and it kind of sucks but she didn't listen to me she's like he's such a nice teacher he didn't do anything wrong he was just calling you out because he probably did something and i'm like i dropped a piece of paper i'm sorry oh officer come come and get me because i dropped a piece of paper you take me to prison for three years for dropping the piece of paper wow i'm i'm the horrible person here and this is just crazy and so um honestly she she sent me back to go say sorry and i kind of i kind of never did i just never went back to detention and just kind of forgot about it because i didn't deserve to be in detention what for dropping a piece of paper like come on is that how our world is that's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And this is like, oh my gosh. If the world's like that, then you know what? Trump's going to launch nukes on all of us if he's allowed to. He might even accidentally press the button. Uh, and so like it's been like probably over a year later since I never said sorry to him. Which I don't feel bad for. I honestly don't feel bad for. I did nothing. And um, it was his. I, and I'm pretty sure I never seen that teacher back again. And I don't know. My mom called the school about it. And said dropping the piece of paper. And the teacher lying about it is kind of bad. Well my mom believes me in this situation. And. So, I never saw that teacher again at that school, which I was surprised. I'm like, did that teacher get fired or something? I I don't even know. That teacher was never back. It's it's just crazy to believe. So, yeah, guys. Um that about wraps it up for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Um I'm I'm hoping uh uh you like these videos. I hope it's entertaining. Comment down below and like um comment what you think about this video and I'll see you in the next. Peace out.